It's time for the weekly No Pain, No Gain Market Update with a team at Payne Capital Management here in New York City. Good morning. This is Aaron Dessen, Financial Advisor at Payne Capital Management, filling in for Bob for the weekly market update. This week, Wall Street saw more of the same. Major U.S. indices hitting all-time highs, primarily driven by big tech. The S&P 500, NASDAQ, and Dow all finished higher for the week. It's interesting to note that the largest companies in the S&P, Amazon, Apple, Alphabet, Facebook, and Microsoft, now make up almost 25% of the index. That is the biggest share of the index among the top five companies since 1970. Back then, it was IBM, AT&T, Exxon, General Motors, and Kodak. A glaring difference between now and 50 years ago is today the five biggest companies are all concentrated in tech. This month, the S&P is up 6%, making it the best August since 1986. And August was the month of Apple. The stock gained 18% for the month, accounting for a third of the gains in the S&P. The big question on investors' minds continues to be, how can the market continue to go up in the face of a deep recession and an ongoing global pandemic? Well, what the market has been telling us all along is the economy is in recovery and the world has adjusted quickly to new normal in light of COVID-19. And the numbers this past week support this. The U.S. manufacturing sector saw new orders for durable goods increase over 11% in July for the third straight monthly increase. U.S. consumer spending increased again in July, beating expectations. And in further evidence of improved virus containment, The government is expected to announce a $750 million deal to buy Abbott Laboratories' rapid response coronavirus test after being granted emergency use authorization. Meanwhile, cheap liquidity remains abundant. Thursday, Fed Chairman Jerome Powell announced that the central bank was taking on a more flexible form of average inflation targeting, signaling easier monetary policy moving forward. So with lots of cheap money sloshing around, growth stocks like big tech, continue to trounce good old-fashioned value names like J.P. Morgan and Verizon. Today, growth stocks trade at double the valuation of old-school value companies, way above the historical premium of 15%. So with big tech stocks partying like it's 1999, it's always good to remember the party doesn't last forever. Eventually, the tech bubble of the late 1990s did finally burst. On Wall Street, history doesn't always repeat, but it sure does rhyme. If you're afraid to get caught in the inevitable big tech hangover and want to make sure your portfolio is not only protected, but built to win over the long term, why sit there and wonder when you can know? Simply call or text 844-752-6692. That's 844-PLAN-NYC. 